Stephen Terry. Uh, this is just a great opportunity for us to express to you how much we love and appreciate you and just your many years of influence in our lives. We were talking that um, about how when we traveled, our time on the team meant that you invested um, nine years specifically in our lives. And we're just eternally grateful for that. Um, for me, I'm, I'm glad that in 2003, there was a great shortage of fresh out of college cello players wanting to go in the ministry. Um, because what that meant is that I had really a God-given opportunity to travel with the Pettit teams for six years. And um, what a life-changing time that was for me personally. But then just to have lifelong friendships that we have with you that really is a result of you living out brotherly affection. And uh, what a valuable thing. We just really, really appreciate that um, among so many different things. You no, know, specifically, um, we were talking about one song, the one that the two of us had done with Reba for several years called I Come and how that song just kind of developed, you know, one day with the ideas from a friend and we were combining those two old hymns and it was a song that I, I loved being able to do with Joel and being able to sing. Um, but I remember specifically one time, it had been about a year after we'd been doing it, week after week on the road and still enjoying the song, probably having moments of forgetting the words sometimes, but it was just a good song to sing. But there was one week where it was just, I, I'm not sure what the deal was, but Brother Steve, you were just kind of pointing out to me that, you know, Megan, it sounds kind of pitchy. I was getting frustrated at feeling like, you know, maybe the song was just getting old and we were getting tired of it. Maybe we just needed to be done with it. And I was kind of venting my frustration to Joel about this. And, you know, he kind of stopped me and just said, you know, Megan, you have an opportunity with this song, especially to, to preach the gospel, to share the gospel with people. And what if, you know, a specific person we've been praying for to get saved, what if, what if that person was sitting out in the audience and this was your opportunity to share the clear gospel with him through this song? And that just kind of stopped me. And, you know, I don't really know if the song sounded better after that, the rest of the time we were traveling, but I know that it was different to me. And it actually really affected the way that I think about singing every single time I get up and sing a song now, um, any, any kind of gospel song. So just the specific touches, even of you know, just all the work we put into these songs and sometimes the day in and day out frustration of trying to get the music right, but still how your influences and God's working in our lives all, all came together with these different songs and really how God used it to change us and, and grow us in really specific ways. So I am very thankful for that and very thankful for both of you as well. Mm -hmm.